Good morning, I'm Michaela, and I will take you through today's circuit training. We're gonna do eight exercises. We'll go through four standing and then four on the floor. We'll go through three sets of each of those, all right? So to get started, go ahead and grab some dumbbells. When you have a nice stance, we're gonna start with your feet about uh, sh shoulder width apart, on a nice soft bend in them. We're gonna start with bicep curls and hammer curls. So we're gonna start, keep your elbows by your side. We'll do five bicep curls. You're gonna bring those weights up and down, nice control. So after five, we'll switch and do a hammer curl. So all you'll do for switching from bicep to hammer is you have those weights out and then you're just gonna turn them in facing out in front of you, all right? So with these, make sure you have these elbows by your side when you're doing these bicep hammer curls and all that's moving is those weights. Keeping that belly button tucked in, those knees soft. All right, so we'll start with five bicep curls and then I'll tell you when we're switching to hammer curls. And here we go. And one. Two. Three. Four. And last bicep curl. Five. Now we'll switch the hammer curls. So now I'll turn those weights so they're facing out. And we'll do five hammer curls. So we're gonna go up and down and for one. Two, three, four, and five. Very nice. So next up, you're gonna set one weight off to the side. You can keep one dumbbell. So for this one, you go a little bit lighter, probably no heavier than five. Staying low is good with this one. You do a nice core exercise. So with this one, same thing with those knees nice and soft, about shoulder width apart. Keep your core nice and engaged that belly button in. You're gonna grab on the weight to either side and you're gonna lift it straight up. You're gonna lift it slightly off at an angle and back down. Then you'll switch to the other side. So slightly off at that angle and back down, all right? This is nice and controlled movement. Don't raise it up past your shoulder height, all right? You're gonna stop right at that shoulder um, or right before it, all right? And for 40 seconds and here we go. So lift this off to the side and back down. And very nice. It's just a slight angle off to that side. We're doing some nice and controlled movements. All right, take your time with this. There's no need to rush it through. And throughout this entire exercise, we're keeping that belly button in with that core engaged. You can keep those arms also fairly straight as well as you do this. Very nice. And we'll do two more. One, and last one. Very nice. You can go ahead and put that weight off to the side. We won't need it for these next two exercises. So next up, we're gonna do lateral steps with a squat in between. So you're gonna start, give yourself a little bit of room. You'll do three steps to the side. Now that third step, you're gonna stop, do a squat, back up, and then step three times to the other side. And then same thing, down the squat and back up. All right, with these, make sure you're keeping that chest up and as you're going to the side, that nice soft knees, keeping that core engaged. And 40 seconds, here we go. So we're going off to that side. You get here, squat down, back up, and back to the other side. Same thing with this exercise, don't feel like you have to rush through it. And as you squat, your knees, those don't go beyond your toes, all right? You're sitting your butt right back, like you're going down in a chair and coming up. Those chests and those eyes stay up as you squat. And down and up. Very nice. You don't, in the squat, you don't have to go very deep. Even it's just a small, slight little pinch down. That is perfectly all right as well. All right. And we'll do one more to the side. And last squat. Very nice. All right, next up, feel free to get uh, next to either a table or a wall. We're gonna be a little bit of balance, a little bit of strength work with this one. So next up, what you'll do is you'll go up onto your toes and then back on your heels, all right? So you're raised up on your toes 
And then back on your heels. If you need any sort of balance, there's walls you can use, tables, bed, countertops, whatever you need, if you need that. And as you do it, when you go up on your toes and back on your heels, you're not going to sink this way back. You're going to try to maintain this nice, good um, belly button tucked in, all right? And 40 seconds. Here we go. So up on your toes and back on your heels. Very nice. You need to get any wall, countertop, bedding, anything you need to help with your balance. Feel free to use that as well. And we'll do two more. And last one on the toes. And last on the heels. Very nice. Next up, we'll make our way to the floor, right? Do our next set of exercises on the floor. You're gonna start laying on your side, all right? You get on your side. What you're going to do is you're going to lift this leg up. At the top, we're gonna have a nice pause for a count of like five seconds and then back down. So you lift it up, pause it, and you'll go back down, all right? You don't have to get your leg up very high, just um, as high as comfortable. And we'll get started, and here we go. So lift up, and hold that leg there, and back down. And we'll go up and hold the leg there and back down. And we'll stay all on one leg for this side, all right? We'll go up and back down. And go ahead and lift that leg up and lower it back down. We'll do two more. So up. Back down, do the last one, up, and back down. Very nice. This next exercise, we're gonna need dumbbells, all right? Just bring these dumbbells to your chest and go down to the floor. We're gonna do a chest press. So you're gonna have your arms up, straight up above you. We're gonna clink these weights together. We're gonna do one arm at a time, all right? You can pick either arm you want. I'm going to start with my left. So as we do this, you're going to slowly lower this one arm to the floor and bring it back up, all right? When you go down, make sure you protect that elbow and that weight doesn't go beyond it to the outside. Keep it a little closer to your body than the outside. And if you don't have to want to go all the way down the floor, so that full range of motion, that is totally okay as well. Work on this nice control movement up and down. All right. And here we go for 40 seconds. Nice, slow down, and nice controlled up. And down, and up. And again on this one, you don't have to go very heavy on it. Um, like five pounds or less is probably good. Nice controlled movements throughout this. Very nice. And we'll do two more. And last one. Very nice. Bring those weights into your chest and then set them off to the side. So next up what we're gonna do is a nice little core exercise. You're gonna bring your legs, you're gonna bring them straight up um, in front of you, all right? Straight up into the air. All you're going to do is with your arms up, you're just going to slight little lift up and back down, all right? All you're doing is getting those shoulders slightly off the ground. You don't have to go very high and you're reaching straight up, all right? You're not reaching to your toes. You're reaching straight up, just that slight little lift. If you want, modified, you can bend your knees and you can lift up and down, all right? So 40 seconds and here we go. All right, just a slight little lift up and back down. Good 
Can you bend your knees or even down a little before? That's totally okay as well. Again, nice controlled, slow movement. Just be a little lift up. And we'll do two more. And last one. Very nice. Go ahead and lower your leg back down the floor. We'll do one more exercise with dumbbells, all right? Our last full exercise. Now with those knees bent back on the floor, bring those weights into your chest. Do skull crushers, crush all right? Have your arms bent off to the side of your body, all right? Have a little separation and be about at the shoulder width, all right? Right straight up on your shoulders. All you're gonna do, extend your arms up and slowly lower them back down, all right? You want nice control movements and your arms stay still. All that's moving is your forearms and the weights. You're gonna lift this up and back down as you do this. And these can be very, very light weights, all right? You don't feel like you have to go higher than five pounds. Light weights will work out just fine. All right, and here we go. We'll go up and back down. Nice controlled movements throughout this entire exercise. Only the forearm is moving. You're keeping the rest of your arms still. You're keeping that, those weights right above your shoulders. And we'll do two more. And last one. Okay, bring those weights into your chest, put them off to the side. And we'll stand back up for our standing exercises. Feel free to take a quick water break. Then we'll move into our next round, all right? everyone's coming back from their water break, I'll just start explaining next exercise. So we're going back to the beginning. So we're going to do the bicep and hammer curls. All right, so we're starting with those bicep curls. So you'll keep those legs about shoulder width apart. Nice soft knees. We're going to engage this core. So we want that belly button in and that chest tight. What we'll do is start with the bicep curl. So with those weights and those arms, both elbows locked by your side. Start with the bicep curl, so raise them up. Lower them back down. And then after you do five, we'll switch the hammer curl. So you're rotating those weights and now they're facing out. Same, same exact position with those by your side, that core engaged, raising up and back down. All right, so we'll start with those bicep curls. And here we go. Up and down for one. And two. And three. Four, and last one, and five. Very nice, now we'll switch those hammer curls. So now rotate those weights so they're facing out. And you go one, just like you're hitting a hammer with a nail. And two, and three, and four, last one, and five. Very nice. We're going to set one weight off to the side. Hold on to the other one. We're going to hold on to the weight by these sides. We're going to use very light weight for this, all right? No more than five pounds on this one. And you're going to keep that core engaged with those nice soft knees about shoulder width apart. You're just going to raise that to a slight angle off to the side and back down. And you rotate to the other side. So raise it up slightly offset. And back down, all right? We're staying at shoulder height or just below it. Don't raise up beyond that. And four seconds, here we go. Raise up 
and back down. Keeping that nice pelvic tilt with the belly button in this entire exercise. Nice slow and controlled movements. Very nice. We're halfway there. Nice control movement, staying just below that shoulder height. We'll do one more each side. So we'll go off to the side. And last one. Off the other side and lower it. Go ahead and put these weights down. Next up, we'll go into those lateral steps with a squat. So you give yourself a little bit of space. We'll take three steps, bringing those feet together. We'll get to the after three. A squat, raise up, and then another three off to the side on that third step, squat, and back up. All right, 40 seconds. Here we go. And at the end of these three steps, make sure you take a pause, you squat, come all the way up, pause, and then go into those next three steps. All right, take your time for this. It's each step with its own movement. So we're going to rush through it and don't use that momentum from that step to the squat. And as you squat, those knees are staying behind your toes, your chest is staying up, and you're sitting back in that chair. And up. Very nice. We'll do one more each side. So we'll step side, squat, and one more time, go in the other direction. Squat and up. Very nice. Next up, we're going to our um, heel and toe raises. All right, so you'll start to go up on your toes and then back on your heels, lifting those toes up, all right? Keeping that core engaged, those nice soft knees, you're gonna lift those up. And here we go. Again, if you need a countertop, a wall, um, bed, anything that you need to kind of help maintain your balance, feel free to use that as well. Next kid, need that support. Keeping that core engaged this entire time. Very nice. We'll do three more. Here's one, two, and last one. Up on the toes, back on the heels. Very nice. Now we're gonna make our way to the floor, all right? All right, so on the floor, now we're gonna switch legs. So I was had my right leg going up last time, so now my left leg. If you're gonna get onto your side, what we're gonna do is raise this leg up, pause it at the top, and then lower it back down, all right? Nice control movement when we do this. Keep that, pole, that toe pointed. You don't have to raise it up very high, all right? As high as it's comfortable. And here we go, so raise it up. Nice pause and back down. Up, pause, back down. We'll go up and back down. And pause the top and back down. Go up and pause, back down. We'll do two more. Up and pause, back down. And last one. Raise it up, pause, and back down. Very nice. Next up, go ahead and grab those dumbbells. Gonna bend our knees, put it back down on the floor. So now we're gonna switch arms. Last time I did my left arm first, so now I'll do my right arm. With those um, arms right above you, at about like that shoulder height, line up your shoulders. All you're gonna do is gonna be one arm at a time. So gonna lower this down the floor. And right back up. If you don't go all the way down the floor, you just go slightly down. 
that works as well. As you go down, check that elbow. So make sure you're not drifting out past that elbow and keeping that nice and tight in. All right. In 40 seconds, here we go. Lower down the floor and back up. One nice, slow, controlled movements on these, all right? Don't rush through this, especially um, as you move through it. And same thing, don't have to go too heavy with these. About five pounds, a little less should be good. And we'll do three more. And last one. Very nice. Bring those weights in your chest and put them off to the side. Next up, you're going to raise those legs up. And you're with your arms straight up, you're just going to go slightly off the floor, back down, reaching straight up. Up and down. Again, if you want to have your knees bent or on the floor, that will also work as well, all right? And 40 seconds, here we go. Raise up and back down. Again, it's a nice control movement. It's just slight movement off that mat. So you don't have to come all the way up. And we're going to breathe during this exercise. It's very easy to hold your breath during these. You kind of lose track of what you're doing. We'll do three more. And last one. Very nice. For our last four exercises, when you grab your dumbbells again, bring them into your chest and have your, um, your skull crusher. So have your arms at that shoulder, um, shoulder height, shoulder width apart. All you're gonna do is extend these up above your shoulders, so it's straight up, and bend them slowly back down. All right, same thing with these, don't go very heavy. Just gonna raise them up. And back down, nice controlled movements, all right? Keeping those out by your side at your shoulders apart. And here we go. Only thing that moves is those weights in your forearm. The rest of your arm stays still. All right, working those triceps. Last one. Do two more. And last one. Very nice. Bring those weights in your chest, put them off to the side. And feel free to get a water break as we move into our last set of exercises, all right? And through this round, we'll move a little bit faster since we already know most of the exercises. I won't spend as much time explaining them. I'll still give cues throughout it. Um, so feel free to get that water and we'll go ahead and get started once you're ready. So we'll grab your dumbbells and we'll start with those dumbbell curls to hammer curls. So when you start, it'll be those five dumbbell curls. Afterwards, we'll switch to hammer with that facing out. All right. So we'll give you another minute, a uh, second, sorry. And we'll go into those dumbbell curls, all right? Put those elbows by your side, that nice base. And we'll raise them up and back down for one, two, three, four, and last one, five. Very nice. Now your turn so those weights are facing out and you'll do hammer curls. So one, two, three, four, and five. Very nice. Let's go ahead and set off one of those dumbbells to the side and we'll hold on to the other one. All right. I'm gonna grab onto each side, keeping those arms straight, that core engaged. All you're going to do is raise this off slightly to the side and back down. And same thing, switch to the other side and back down. 
And here we go. Hop to the side and back down. Nice control movement throughout this. You're just going up to that shoulder height or just below. Don't go beyond that. Keeping those arms fairly straight. That belly button in with that pelvic tilt. You want that nice base, all right? So those legs about shoulder width apart. You can have nice soft knees as well. And we'll do two more. And last one. Very nice. You can go ahead and set off that dumbbell. Next up we'll do is those lateral steps with the squat. So it'll be the three steps to the side. Give yourself some nice space. So squat and back up. All right. And 40 seconds, here we go. So three nice steps, bringing those feet together. Squat down and up. And as you do this, each step is its own movement. So after that, those steps, take a pause before you go on that squat and back up. Make sure you come fully up, fully extend your body after that squat. We'll go down and up. And you're sitting straight back. Those knees are staying behind your toes. That chest is up. We'll do one more each side. Down and last one. Down. And up. Very nice. Last standing exercise we'll do is the toe dealer raises. So you go up on your toes and then back on your heels. All right. And you need a countertop, wall, whatever you need to bounce. Feel free to use that as well. So here we go. We'll go up on the toes and back on the heels. Up. Very nice. Keeping that play button with that core engaged. Take your time for these ones as well. There's no rush to be left sideways. And we'll do two more. And last one. Very nice. Let's make our way down to the floor for our last four exercises, all right? So we'll start on our sides. So we'll do half and half. So we'll start with um, start with one side for 20 seconds, and then we'll switch to the other side, all right? So we're going to start with those side leg braces with that pause. So you're going to lift that leg up, pause at the top, lower back down, all right? We'll do it on this side, and I'll tell you when. We'll switch sides. So we'll raise this up. We'll pause it and put it back down and up and back down. We'll do two more. Up and back down. Last one. Up and back down. Very nice. Now we'll switch sides very quickly. So now the other leg will be on top. And we're going to go up and pause. And back down. We go up, back down. Do two more. Up and down. Last one. Up and down. Very nice. Next up, feel free to grab the dumbbells. Do a chest press. All right. So go on your backs with your dumbbells up. So that shoulder center, we're going to alternate back and forth. Last time you only did one arm at a time. So what you do is you put your right arm down, up, and then switch to your left arm, down and up. All right, so you alternate back and forth with this chest press. And here we go. Down and up. Nice, slow movement. Very nice. Bring the elbow straight down. Do one more each side. Very nice. Bring those weights into your chest. Place them off to the side. Next up, bring 
bring those legs up. We're gonna do with those arms straight up. Just reach up off the ground and back down. Remember, the small movement doesn't have to be a full lift off the ground. And four seconds, here we go. And you're reaching straight up for that ceiling. And do three more. And last one. Very nice. Time for our last exercise, all right? You're gonna grab those dumbbells for the skull crushers. What you're gonna do, all right, with those arms bent with your straight up above your uh, shoulders, just gonna extend up so that you're straight above those shoulders and bend it back down, all right? You're keeping everything still, but those forearms, all right? And here we go, raise that up and back down. Keep those off the side from your head, so right above your shoulders. Extending up and down. Nice slow control movements throughout this. And we'll do two more. Last one. Very nice, bring those weights into your chest, put them off to the side. And that's it for today, thank you for joining.